welcome back. I'm Jonah here with Local Gems. Today we're hanging out at Steel Pony Farm. We're gonna be uh, interviewing Mike, owner operator of Steel Pony Farms. All right, let's get to it. Today we're going to be hanging out with uh, Mike from Steel Pony Farms, out here southeast of uh, Red Deer, only about 15 minute drive, if that. Beautiful, beautiful spot actually too. Um, Alright Mike, why don't you take it away, give us a little introduction about yourself, um, and then what got you into, uh, into the regenerative sure. farming. Yeah, <laughs> you said it right. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a struggle for me. It's a hard word. <laughs> Cool, thanks. Welcome here. It's nice to have you out. Yeah. And uh, I mean, nothing I love to do more than talk about agriculture, so cool to have the chance. So yeah, I run Steel Pony Farm. Um, we're out on about eight acres just southeast of Red Deer. And it's, it's a community-supported agriculture model. So basically what that means is... Um, people invest in the project and then in exchange they get these weekly food boxes throughout the growing season. We grow a little over 30 different types of crops and um, really do our best to manage the land in a way that gives more than we take, right? So putting, putting more back in, thinking about the water cycle and the carbon cycle and biodiversity and just working to grow veggies that like are jam-packed with flavor and goodness and that they are <laughs> yeah they you, are. you've eaten lots of them <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you like them yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean in a nutshell that's that's what we're up to yeah yeah what um when when you kind of had this vision how what how many years ago did you start this up this is year 11. year 11. yeah and i, I mean probably for about five or six years before that I'd been dreaming and scheming about it okay. but I grew up in town basically straight line north in Deer Park um, oh, okay that's where I live now okay yeah yeah <laughs> so I didn't really have much connection to agriculture yeah so I needed to go out and learn about it for a while I didn't go to school the main way that I learned was just getting on farms and either volunteering or working or interning and just slowly it's just such a big skill set right like from yeah. being a city kid who like grew up good at school but not good at a whole lot else <laughs> <laughs> it was like i needed to learn carpentry and like basic electrical and a little bit of welding and some plumbing um in addition to like managing a garden and learning about plants and learning about these biological cycles and everything so it really helped to go and just spend time on other farms um and it all started off uh, in Kenya, and I was out doing a project through, kind of through Red Deer College and, and another organization I was a part of, and I just had this moment where I hadn't really thought about agriculture before, I'd thought about food, um, and this is a while ago, right, this is like probably 16 or 17 years ago, um, food issues weren't like a big thing, at least around here, Yeah. Um, but I was, I can't remember if I was vegetarian or vegan at the time, because I knew there was something wrong with the way that, like, conventional animals were being raised. I didn't really know what it was, but I was, like, pretty young and pretty self-righteous, and I was just like, well, I'm not going to eat animals. Um, and so then I was sitting around this cook fire in Kenya with this family, and they're like, Mike, tell us about your farm. And I said, well, I don't have a farm. And they were just like, what? You don't have a farm? Like, where do you get your food from? Because um, it was really rural. And, like, basically most of the food they were eating was food that they'd grown themselves. Yeah. So I said, I get my food from the grocery store. They're like, ah, tell us about the grocery store's farm. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't know. It's in China and California and Mexico. And, I mean... I've seen pictures like of some of these like big industrial um, agriculture models and I mean didn't have anything to really share with them about it besides well, I don't know about the grocery stores farm 
So then they're like, okay, well, tell us about a farm in Canada. And I just couldn't. Like, I didn't know anything about farming, you know? Yeah. And so it made me stop and really consider, like, I've got this goal. I want to be a well-rounded human being. And I don't really have that defined as, like, what that is. But at the very least, I thought, in that quest to be a well-rounded human, I at least need to know a little bit about food and where it comes from and how it's produced and what's the difference between, like, say, good food and bad food and healthy food and unhealthy food. And so that was really, like, my my wedge into agriculture. And I thought, you know, when I get home, I'm just going to spend some time learning. Um and exploring and so that's what I did over the course of the next two or three years I spent time on farms and um, I mean I could go into what that whole process was but I I don't know if that that'll just be me talking a lot (laughs) all right that's a wrap for us thanks for tuning in Uh, you can like subscribe follow us on Instagram make sure you go give uh, Mike Steel Pony Farms there a follow as well Uh, Check out some of his merch. Check out some of our merch. Um, Yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully we can get some more uh, local producers on. You know, I'd like to see do some uh, local beef producers, uh, some honey producers. Uh, Hopefully we can get in touch with some of them. Stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out.